So as Tim said, my name is Ron Carroll. I am the CEO and one of the co-founders of Collaborate Music. And I know we're running a little short on time, so I'm going to try to kind of breeze through this. I was invited here to give an update on the business uh, from an alumni perspective since I was in that first class. I'd like to think that Tony kept uh, inviting me to show these youngsters kind of how it's done, but these presentations were really good, so I'm just going to try to keep up today. So enough about me and more about this guy. This is James Kotek. He's the drummer for the Scorpions, Rocky Like a Hurricane, um, Winds of Change. I still I've burned out a bunch of big lighters with that. Um, we met him during when we were at Velocity. He was really excited about what we were doing. And we had another quote on here last time we gave this presentation. And, but I don't think anything speaks more volumes than this, which is, let me know what you want me to say to endorse it, and I'll say anything. So that's a pretty ringing <laughs> endorsement for us. So James was uh, interested in possibly investing. He's got some stuff going on in his life, so that's probably not going to happen in the near term. But he's still interested in endorsing, as well as introducing us to his contacts. So we're really excited about that. And what James was so excited about was our approach to music collaboration online, and more specifically, taking that approach and putting it towards music education for people learning instruments. And before I get into really what that means, I'm going to kind of give you a quick overview of where we came from as a business and where we started from. Uh, I promised a bunch of people I was going to change the song this time, because every time you see this pitch, it's always the same song, but promises are meant to be broken, so I didn't. So. <laughs> You guys can rush the stage if you want. It's a music startup. If I get five people up here, I'll crowd serve. At least five. So that was the platform that we built. We wanted a way, uh, my band, we were trying to find other musicians, regardless of where they were in geographic location, to play music with us and to take any starting point on a piece of music that we created and bring it to its full potential. It's kind of like Wikipedia for music. By getting a bunch of different inputs on something, you can get to the truth of what something should be. And that's what we were really excited about. It's kind of a new approach to music creation. So we sent this out to a whole bunch of musicians and we got a lot of amazing feedback. But then we saw a common thread that we really thought we could address and something that really rang true to us. And that was using such a platform for music education. You know, this would be great for my students. Have you thought about using this in rock band programs? And the reason why it's important to get students on a platform like this is because how many, how many people have started learning an instrument at some point in their lives? That's a lot. How many still play? Like two or four, you know, that's not many. That's a huge drop off. So that's a lot of people losing what could potentially be a lifelong passion. And I think that's really a shame. As we can see from the data here, nine year olds to 17 year olds who take private lessons, it goes from like 30% and 40% down to 11 and 9%. That's a huge drop off. And the reasons are pretty obvious. Picking up a guitar or drums starts off as a lot of fun. It can quickly grow to be frustrating. And in the worst case scenario, the student can quit. More specifically, the reasons why they do quit is they get bored, they're tired, they have no way of measuring their uh, prog progress, they lack the incentive to practice, and most importantly, there's no social connectivity in the way lessons are taught today. Uh, music is an inherently social thing. It's the whole sole purpose of it is to play in front of people, play with people, and then not do that and stay in your parents' basement, and jamming is not really what it's all about, and you know, that's why people drop it. And the reason why I can relate to that is because even though drums are a huge part of who I am, I almost quit as well. And the reason I didn't is because I went over to a friend's house, we started jamming, I was like, wow, this is what making music's about. You know, I can start a band, make like my own music, maybe get a date this decade. That hasn't happened, but we're working on that one. That's startup number two, maybe. Uh, so Collabor is an online platform that now allows students to make music together finally and make it easier. So that's how we started, and we kind of went to this education thing. So if I were an instructor, and this is where the updates kind of happen, we built an instructor dashboard that allows an instructor to keep, to keep track of all their students. I can hover over any one of these students to find out their last five practices so that I can course correct when they come in for their lessons. Practicing, even if it's not that much practice, it's doing it daily is incredibly important. Studies have shown that if students practice every day, they're significantly more likely to continue learning that instrument. So you need to put accountability into the system. How it exists today is you go to a lesson and the teacher will ask you, did you practice? And you're like, yeah. And then you are awful and they know you didn't. So like having something like this that they could send to your parents to keep accountability and discipline in the process is really important. In the typical use case, if you guys were my student, you would come into my studio, we would record like a 70 minute lesson, and I would trim out parts of that that are important to you, I think are important to practice. Then using our virtual practice log, you would go through, practice those important parts, or free practice. I would be able to see what you practice, how long you practice. Everything's through the website. You don't have to own Pro Tools or anything like that, which is really expensive. Um, if you were the student and you were practicing, this is what that dashboard looks like. You would record along to that important part that I've identified. You could 
trim out little portions of that and loop it, you could slow it down and speed it up to help your comprehension of that part. It's a really cool platform and there's really nothing out there quite like this. Additionally, through the week, I could look at your practices and I could be like, I think you're doing great on this part and you really need a lot of work on this part. It keeps that engagement throughout the week instead of just taking a lesson and then taking another lesson. Fingers crossed if you're an instructor that they practice. Fingers crossed if you're a student and you hope the instructor didn't notice that you didn't practice, that sort of thing. And then we also will have a, kind of like an easy analytics dashboard to send to parents and instructors that's a little bit more in depth to show them how, whether or not their students are practicing and whether or not it's at the quality of what they would like it to be. Of course, so we launched our platform. One of the biggest items of feedback that we got was, you know, we need an app for this because, you know, no one wants to bring their laptop down by their drum set or by their piano or move their piano to their desktop, which makes complete sense. So in the betas that we've done, so this is a highly requested thing. This is almost ready to launch. Brian needs to cut his finger now. I don't know if you saw that in there. It's pretty long. So, so our business model, as things have existed today, you've got sit-down lessons, which are approximately around, on average, $100. <coughs> now, with Collaborate, it's a $10 additional fee, but you get the sit-down lessons, which you already had, the collaboration and social aspects, the ability to track your progress, and the incentive to practice. Greg, um, this is your slide. So, unit cost and profit. Greg's on our board of advisors. He's always asking about these unit cost things, and we finally got a slide for him. So, hope you're happy. Um, so, our cost $10 per month per student. Our transaction fees are around 59 cents. Uh, we do revenue sharing with our instructors to incentivize them to include more of their students on the platform, as well as to help them be more incentivized to engage during the week and be more active. However, there are a lot of instructors that are incredibly, incredibly busy, so like that little five practice thing bar chart that you saw, we send that to them 15 minutes before our lesson so they can just quickly look at it. It's really easy for them, but we do want to incentivize them to get as active as possible. On a heavy usage case, if a student were to have four 70-minute practices in a month and 80 uh, 70-minute um, or four lessons that were 70 minutes and 80 practices that were 70 minutes. We're talking about 60 cents from bandwidth and storage perspectives, which gives Collabora a monthly share of $4.10. And that's kind of a heavy use case scenario. So we took this uh, at the end of demo day. Last time we started a beta program at Moms, which is the preeminent uh, school of music in Louisville. Our first beta program, and this ties into what Tony said in the intro, uh, Reed Kaufman said if you're not embarrassed by your first iteration of your product, you're not getting it out soon enough. We were totally embarrassed by this, but it did validate that we could generate revenue before the platform broke. So we went back, did a whole bunch of changes to it, made it a lot more seamless, easier to use. It's launched beta two a couple weeks ago. We have 20 students now, significant improvements to the tool set, everything's faster. And Moms lost the potential, so starting May 1st, we're launching it to their full store. So we're really, really excited about that. Other traction that we've been getting is Eric Arsenault. He's a world-renowned vocalist. He's taught Jennifer Hudson, Blake Shelton. He uh, does online lessons through Skype all over the world. He's got 21 <coughs> plus million views on his videos, 171,000 subscribers. He's like, if he, he told us if you can include video in this and the ability to trim out important portions of the video, I'll definitely get on the platform. He's spoken, he's given speeches at Juilliard. We're like, we're gonna make that happen. It's really easy. That's in kind of just early stages of developing. It's coming along quite nicely. As I said, Mom's Music, 650 students. We're expanding the three new stores soon. Uh, actually, this week was that Florida store, and then two in West Virginia. And we're doing those three stores through a test marketing uh, program, which is we actually pay for students to go to these stores and take lessons as long as they use Collabora. So if that store has more than 20 students, it behooves us as a business to pay for another student just to go there. Stores don't like cold calls, so if we can get a student demanding to use the service there, it's a lot easier of a way to get eyes on it. And our experience has been that once instructors see what we're doing, on top of the revenue sharing, it becomes kind of a no-brainer for them to use it with the rest of their students, as well as to tell the other instructors in their stores. So we're excited about how that's working out. We've also talked to a couple colleges. One that we're still in kind of a high-level dialogue with is Moorhead State University, talking to the Dean of College of Music there. Uh, just two weeks ago, we met with the principal of a high school in Linview, Indiana, and uh, he's gonna use it with his choir program, so we're excited about that. And next Friday, I just found this out like an hour ago, or I guess it was yesterday, actually, not an hour ago at all, um, that we're meeting with uh, an instructor at LaGrange Elementary, and we're very pumped about that. So uh, pretty crazy idea with a pretty crazy team behind it. You've got myself as the CEO and kind of the main tech guy, and then I've got these two excellent energetic marketing people. Brian Michaels kind of handles a lot of our online marketing. He's based in Florida right now, and he's kind of handling the expansion there. Leora Nosco, who was an instructor at Moms, the first one that we launched with, she has a background in sales and advertising, quit that to pursue her passion on music, and then she told us that Collabor made her want to get back involved in business. She's awesome. She's responsible for a lot of our connections as well. 
So if you guys have any questions or you uh, know anyone who's taking lessons that could benefit from our platform, uh, feel free to reach out to me um, after this. I'll be back there by that sign. Uh, it's been used for two uh, cohorts now, so it's getting <coughs> kind of janky. So it's over there, you'll see it. And uh, we're gonna be featured in the Courier Journal, not this Sunday, but next Sunday in the art section. So go ahead and pick up a copy of that as well. So thank you.